Hey, pleasant good day, or evening, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the kind of please subscribe down below and the subscribe button or the easy to use widget at the end. Sorry for not doing previews before today's game. I just wasn't really feeling well. I slept most of the day, but we're doing reactions as the Phantoms are able to have a very good four to one win and start looking a little bit consistent here. Now having back to back good games after an abysmal effort Saturday, very solid game Sunday. And now a very good game this Wednesday against the Hershey Bears and come out and beat a very good competitive Bears team. Also, a very solid Bears team. I'm not looking at the numbers right now, but just by the players they have, that they put 0 for 3 on the power play. They have dangerous guys like Scarbursa that scored the goal himself and others when they're on that power play that are able to get net front presence and able to just wire shots home, and the Phantoms defended that well and actually potted two on three of their power plays. So they basically turned the Hershey Bears power play into their own as they were able to get goals by Jackson Cakes there, which when you go back and look like that is so much sweeter of a goal than the first glance when you Throw it down and look a bit because he was flying full speed and just flicked that over Copley's pad. That isn't an easy shot. Great play by him. And then Wilman gets Cal O'Reilly, the captain, back for getting a nice play to him when he threw it on net and was able to get an assist on the goal by Wilman when Wilman was able to deflect it for the first goal of the game. Max Wilman gets Cal O'Reilly back with the assist for the O'Reilly goal there. And then, of course, the other goal was Jerry Mayhew on the beautiful power play, tic-tac-toe pass, and you love to see. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms have looked better on the power play as time has progressed this season in terms of just overall look. It just hasn't really translated to numbers yet. And tonight you got a nice sweet pass from Frost over to Logan Day, who delayed a little bit, brought people over to him. And then you had Jerry Mayhew wide open in front of the net, who is, that's just an easy goal for a guy that has once had above 30 goal, was the MVP, let's just put it that way, that's the easiest way to put it, was the MVP of the AHL, that's a very easy goal for a guy like that, that has a wire wrist shot and is one of the best AHL goal scorers, so Jerry Mayhew was able to put it in. On the assist today, I already said it, O'Reilly was with Wilman's goal, Day and Frost with Mahew, Connor Bunneman, who's been playing great and doing all the little things right. He's kind of the James Van Riemsdyk of the Phantoms when he, now that he's back and going. He does all those little things right, has net front presence, was able to get an assist today where JVR doesn't have the transit. They're not the same player, but he doesn't have stats translating from the way he's playing. He's having an off game tonight, but otherwise has been good for the Flyers doing all the little things right, just not translating to the stats. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what Bunny does tonight he was able to get on the stat sheet with an assist and then of course you have Wilman assist the O'Reilly goal so the stars of this game were obviously Cal O'Reilly was able to have a goal and an assist and Max Wilman that were able to have a goal and an assist both of those guys man Max Wilman is playing like a bat out of hell he leads the team in goals again and he's looking like he's one of the better AHL goal scorers yet again we're in a much tougher league this year because you have everybody back you don't have the taxi squad you have all these dudes back that are veterans that are able to kind of really settle down the game more for their teams where last year was a really young league because you had of course the taxi squads for the NHL rosters so to conclude this video another guy we obviously have to talk about that's been the MVP of the team other than Max Wilman this season this far is the king in net Felix Sandstrom the Swedish king playing absolutely fantastic since Ursan went out with injury and again has a fantastic game after having two days rest since playing back to back and playing a lot of minutes yeah Carroll got in quickly for four um saves in that one game Saturday but playing a lot of minutes back to back bouncing back big time having an MVP level game Sunday and then having an MVP level game today as he comes forth and makes 31 of 32 saves. And on the Scarbosa goal, he literally could have done nothing about it. It was turned over in front of the net. Scarbosa was wide open. If he made that save, he honestly should just win the goaltender of the year just off of that save because that would have been basically hosh. That would have been saves that nobody really made as a joke. But Felix Sandstrom. MVP of the game, MVP of this season for this team this far, really stepping up. He's the first star. I'm going to give the second star to Cal Riley. The captain's able to start the playoff with a great shot that's able to get deflected by Woolman. And then the third star will go to Max Woolman, who answered back 
and got the assist to Cal O'Reilly for the final goal of the game for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms to be able to win 4-1. to So this has been a reaction of the Phantoms' great 4-1 to win over the Hershey Bears. This is the best game I think this team's played all season against a very good Bears team after playing a good game against the Charlotte Checkers on Sunday. So maybe we're starting to find that consistency, which is what obviously all us Phantoms fans and people that report on the team as I do for Nitty Gritty as well. Subscribe to them as well. Great content of all Flyers organization stuff at Flyers Nitty Gritty as well as Flyers Fan Mania 93 that Chris Mayer does as well. Subscribe to those two channels and you get all the Flyers organizational covers. This has been Sports Fan News, a reaction to Phantoms' great 4-1 to win over the Hershey Bears. Subscribe up top at the easy-to-use widget or down below on the subscribe button. Peace out, everybody, and go Phantoms.